Hello and welcome to another edition of Crime Watch. On this edition, we'll be bringing your way the sobering story of a woman buried alive with her 10-year-old adopted daughter. I am Wendy Abu. Also in this edition is our missing vehicles, recovered vehicles and missing person segment. Stay with us. Now, residents of Wale Ola Teju Street and adjoining streets in the Lekki Phase 1 area of Lagos can now sleep with both eyes shut after the Lagos State Tax Force raided drug peddlers in the area. These are everyday drugs that can be purchased from across the counter. But here on Wole or Lateju Street, these men say they sell them as intoxicants to their patrons who, according to them, come from various parts of the state. When asked what the syringes are for, the drug peddlers who do not have any background in medicine say they do not only sell the drugs but also inject customers who usually want to get high on drugs. I can see one guy, one captain, I call him, say, my help and do barbecue. If you said me and the guy would be around here, say my come wait for him. I say I come wait for him. I this man come meet me. He so he no say yes. I I the smoke. You understand? He say okay, bros. Meet me one boy. You can drop smoke for my front. You understand? I say I I do the smoke. Now this guy come help me. He speak house for me. Say I beg bros. Give me one smoke. My smoke now. I no ask and say you go give me money or this thing. I sell to everybody. Men and women buy from me. I get between 1,000 and 2,000 as gain daily. According to residents who spoke off camera, the street is usually busy at night as all manner of people come in vehicles of different shapes and sizes to buy drugs. They say residents are usually scared of passing through the area for fear of possible attack by the drug peddlers who they alleged sometimes raped their women. Chairman of the Lagos Tax Force, who spoke on telephone, said the decoy operation became necessary given constant complaint from residents of the area. Still on raids, we'll be going over to Ogun State where we'll be joining Kazim Olowe, who witnessed the raiding of a fraud tax den at Eroko Village, Ewekoro local government area, by the Ogun State Police Command. On sighting this structure, which was located inside the bush at Eruku village in Ewekoro local government area of Ogun State, one would take it for a museum where artifacts and other traditional relics are being kept. But the reality is the structure is purely a den of frosters. Investigations prove that they have been in operation for more than nine years and many unsuspected members of the public had been duped before the dragnet of the police caught them. An entrance to the building, which has no fewer than 25 rooms, was a gory site. Some of the items found in the building included carved images, various sizes of shrines, charms, underground tunnels, clothing materials, coffin, as well as other various sizes of calabash. In fact, we got information or tips that some people somewhere and used to duping innocent people for nothing. So this particular aspect was that we got the information that mm -hmm. okay. you have someone who, who poses as a traditional healer. Then somebody went to him, to him he was using catchers, went to him and he promised that he would do whatever. Not only that, he now told that person that he was going to advance something for him. But first of all, you have to pay deposit 400,000, which was done. And then the deed day was to bring the other one amount. I will mention it now. Okay. Then our people had to lay ambush. And then, unfortunately for them, they napped all of them. There are about 11 of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They left others and we don't carry all of them. 
three are here. Others are in the headstead headquarters. It's why we finished, you can now go down there and see the rest and interview them. And that was what happened. In fact, they wanted to dupe a banker. Mm -hmm. Yes, of a large sum of money. So that 400,000 in just an, an advance, and we used it to play along. And that was what happened. We were able to arrest him. And got this time. Okoye disclosed that a popular indigenous of the state had fallen victim of the fraudsters, and they were in the process of trapping a banker in the state before they were caught. He noted that his men were equally on the trail of other members of the gang, noting that the command will take over the structure and if need be, at the completion of the necessary investigation, the structure may be pulled down. The leader of the gang, who identified himself as Akoje Abiola from Ibadan, the Oyo state capital in an interview said, the structure was not meant for dubious act as claimed by the police. He confirmed that he has some customers who always consult him for protection and other spiritual help, adding that the house was meant for legitimate business. Before it is traditional uh, uh, healing, so of course I was in the village before, that is in Hele 2004. Which village? It's in the main village where Bale is living. So, but after when Bale moved down here, so we bought the land to come and build our home. So that is one I've been here since. What, exactly, what business are you doing here? I'm doing a healing, a traditional healing home, nothing at all. But so so what you see here so far is more than a traditional healing. How do you come about all the... All the all it's the just to remember the, all the previous asset store. That is why we put their status there. So not a job to remember what is the previous asset store that have left. For you that it will not be forget is in the memory of the people. So many people normally come even for the, so people do come for the prayer, it's for the infertility problem and other aspects. So some people come for too, for the other aspects, for any other thing, protection and anything, there's nothing like that. All the suspects have been transferred to the Ogun State Police Command headquarters in Nelewe Abe Okuta for further investigations. <laughs>